In this tutorial, we will create 2D and 3D drawings of the simple machine part that you are looking at. Of course, there are many ways to draw anything, and what you will see here is my way based on 20 years of design experience. On the screen now is the completed project. The 2D drawing and the solid model are shown in paper space using two viewports. The first thing to do is to erase both viewports. They will be recreated later on. Both drawings are going to be recreated in model space, so let's get started by clicking the model space button. Notice that the drawing still exists in model space even though erased in paper space and that I split the screen into two vertical viewports. The new drawing will be recreated on the blank screen on the right. With ortho on, type L for line, enter, pick point A anywhere, move the mouse downward, type 1.875, enter, move mouse to the left, type 4.5, enter, move mouse upward, type 1.875, enter twice. Type O to offset, enter, type 9.25, enter, select line, BC and pick a point above the line. Type L for line, enter, snap to midpoint of line BC, move mouse upward and draw the line to in intersect the line above, enter. And now again we want to type O to offset, enter, type 0.938, enter, select the center line and pick a point to the left, then select the center line and pick a point to the right. Then connect the lines ED and FA. Now we want to trim and erase the intersections at E and F. And the drawing should appear should, as, is, as is shown. And here's how we'll draw the two holes at point G and H. We'll type O to offset, enter. Type 1.188, enter. Select the center line and pick a point to the left. And then use the center line and pick a point to the right. Type O to offset again. Then we're going to type 1, enter. You'll select the line PC and pick a point above it. Then you want to type C for a circle, enter, and snap to the intersection at point G. Type D for diameter, enter, and type 0.875, enter. And then copy the circle from the intersection at G to the intersection at H. And now we'll want to locate the holes at the top of the plate. We'll start by locating the line MN. So we'll type O to offset enter, type 7 enter, select the line CB and pick a point above it. Then we'll type C for the center of a circle and snap to the intersection at point L. We'll type D enter for diameter and type 1.117 enter. Next, we'll want to locate the two holes beneath the line MN at points O and P. So type O to offset enter, type 1 enter, select the line MN and pick a point below it. Then type O to offset enter, type 0.625 enter, select the center line and pick a point to the left and then two to the right. You type C for circle, enter, snap to the intersection at O, Type D for diameter, then type 0.188, enter. Now we'll type C for circle, enter, and snap to the intersection at O. Type D for diameter, enter, and type 0.188, enter. 
Then we're going to type C again for a circle, enter, and snap to the intersection again at O, type D for diameter, and then type 0.14, enter. The two circles at point O are now concentric. Also, the larger of the two small holes should be placed on a layer which will provide a hidden line. Because the nature of a tapped hole is to show a hidden line uh, on the outside and a, and a solid line, a circle on the inside. We will then copy the circles from intersection at O to the intersection at P. At this point, we can now erase all unnecessary lines and letters. At this time, the PE or polyline edit command can be used to convert the perimeter of the drawing into a continuous polyline. And now I'm going to extrude the perimeter of the object as well as the five holes, a distance of 0.75. And finally, we'll use the Boolean operation to subtract all the holes from the side plate. And if we click on the conceptual visual style, we can add shading to the drawing. And now that the solid model is completed, I'll switch back to using only one viewport. Having finished the solid model, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawings properly and make the entire drawing ready for printing, so I'll click the Layout 1 button. Now I'll make the viewports layer current. Then to create the two viewports, use the M view command and select two diagonal intersections to create the large and small viewports. Thereafter, Double click inside the smaller viewport, switch to ice southeast isometric view in order to pan and zoom so as to enlarge the model. To get back to paper space, double click outside the small viewport. Remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of 1 to 1, even though individual viewports can be set to different scales. You can set the scale of the large viewport by selecting it and then clicking on the uh, Properties button. The standard scale is found under miscellaneous. That is where uh, you find standard scale. Once the scale is set, double click inside the large viewport to gain access and pan so that only the 2D drawing is visible. Do not use the zoom command after the scale has been set. However, it is okay to move the solid should that be necessary. Now double click outside the large viewport to get back into paper space. Finally, if we don't want the large and small viewport rectangles to be printed, Go to the Layer dialog box and freeze the Layer viewports where the viewports are located. The drawing is now complete and ready for printing. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please make a comment because I do enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching.